Hi, I'm Steve Nelson, winemaker for Discoveries. Do I need some makeup? Is this guy using a VHS camera? You know you can see those trucks back there. Why is there a lamp right here? Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, hold on, let me turn that off. Uh, hi, I'm Steve Nelson, winemaker for Discoveries, and uh, welcome to my home away from home. Uh, today I'm tasting our Discoveries Cabernet, so I'd like to invite you in. Uh, come on in, sit down, and have a glass. So, a cool thing about Cabernet is that it's a man's variety, so only men drink it. <laughs> Cabernet is the king of all reds, so I think that's a distinguishing factor in itself. I mean, it, it rules, so... Um, yeah, it tends to produce uh, really rich and big and um, full-bodied red wines, but still retaining some elegance, so it's kind of like me, I guess. So Cabernet, if left to itself, tends to produce uh, really green and vegetal qualities that um, nobody likes. But you really need to kind of watch the vines and uh, limit yields, uh, make sure the fruit gets enough uh, sunlight exposure to reduce a lot of that bell pepper kind of herbaceous flavors. We uh, destem and crush 100% of the fruit. Uh, when it goes into the fermenter, we ferment very hot to maximize extraction of uh, mouthfeel and flavors. Um, when we press off, we keep some of the wine in tank to retain some of that fresh, uh, fresh fruit and fermentation character. And we put some of the wine in barrels to give it a little more uh, mouthfeel and complexity and kind of round out all the edges. So what I look for in the final Cabernet blend is a nice big uh, full mouthfeel and texture that comes off uh, soft and not too many hard edges. Um, I look for flavors that are kind of like black cherries, um, chocolate and mocha, uh, cedar, a little bit of that bell pepper that I was talking about but not too much because I think that can kind of overpower the other qualities. So um, that's what I've tried to do with the Discoveries cab that I have right here. And um, I'm really interested to see what, what you guys think. So uh, go ahead and grab a glass and try it out for yourself. And I hope you don't mind the fly that's in it.